Last episode felt like a whole bunch of mind games and yapping, but the, the, the point of this episode, the anime is a lot of yapping, the diplomacy in the world building. So what happened last episode? We brought this dude who got framed for signing a fake thing, but it turns out the other dudes were faking it and we're like, ha, got you. And then the guy was like, ha, I'm here. I actually didn't sign it. And he was like, oh my God. But then we forgave him. And now the whole thing is still with the succession war. We're siding with the first prince. But he got outed by the second prince because the second prince got to the throne first. And now, what are we gonna do? We have like rare resources. Do we have like explosives or something, Jeff Sue? Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, I see. I'm talking about Charlotte fan service. Foreign <laughs> Salamakia. Wait. So we straight up left Charlotte behind so that she could guard the house. <laughs> we <laughs> Damn, I feel bad, really. We just left her behind, okay. New drip though. That's right. He wanted to meet us immediately. Lord Kuran is Is he the first prince? Anyways, after we solved the mysteries of last episode, we got like almost like a promotion and the guy wants to see us. He has been making this same non-poker face sweating the entire time for like the last four episodes, I swear to God. Bro has no other face than this. Okay. Right by the ocean. And it's because it's by a body of water, right? Because back in the day, you want to do, even now, you wanted to trade a lot of things are done with ships and shit. I don't think we can bring ocean to it here, but I know what he's trying to say. Alright, let's get our clout up. Look at all these fancy ass people. <laughs> Bald. Also, you're a fucking child. A toddler walked in. What the fuck are they gonna think? Ours, come on, bro. These two are from our side. And Lumia respects us, so we should be good. Yeah. Yeah, get us in there, bro. Hype us up. Hype us up. Technically, how old is he? We, I swear to God, this is one of the isekais where we never think about what the fuck happened back in our past life. Like, none of that shit matters anymore. Bro was like some kind of like accounting logistics person back in the day. How old was he? Maybe late 20s, like early 30s, and now he's had so many years to grow up as well. Like, I don't know. Ours actually acts like a child sometimes. It's just like, mentally, he should be 40-something. You would think that he would be so... Then again, personality is different. Just because you're older doesn't mean you're mentally that aged as well. Okay. Full scars. Wakey, wakey. Ohio. All right, appraised. What does he got? Okay. Uh, what is he really good at? Cavalry. He's really good at cavalry. High as fuck ambition. Prowess and leadership. Leadership and prowess is maxed out. Granted, they're not, they're different level cows, but like, okay. Okay, bro, bro is pretty huge. I wonder what the second prince is like. The second prince must have some crazy ass stats too, right? Yeah, he said, they said he was better. Uh, political ties, uh, bribes, uh, some, something else. There may be some other reason. We got more money to dish out. I quit. I'm going away. I give up. Y'all are fucked now. Goodbye. They're not here, right? From the ashes! Okay, 
Damn, his speech is like level 99. Everybody is compelled here. Look at them, all these bougie ass noble sweating buckets at how compelling the speech is. I'll tell you something, man. One of the most important skills in life is not like strength, agility, dexterity, stuff like that in, in these games. Sometimes if you can just like talk your ass out and you just sound compelling, people will just be like, oh my God, I'll follow you. <laughs> Yeah. We're separating? Sovereignty? My nobles. Oh! Ours, you too. Oh shit, we're about to get glazed by the prince himself. Yo, he's about to be like ours. My boy, come on over here. Ours! Oh shit! This kid? This kid? お初にお目にかを見せてやる。サラマキー。私の元へ来て皆に顔を見せてやる。What's this with the 40 year old mind, age is no consequence. <laughs> age is of no They don't know. None of them fucking know how old we actually are inside. But hey, we're a kid right now. We're role playing as a kid. Yeah. Merits. That's right. You know, if you do something like this, this might like make other people jealous and try to get us assassinated. Not sure if it's such a good idea that we're getting propelled this high because we're a kid. Because we're getting recognition from this guy who's trying to create a new nation. If I was some other geezers down there that had a lot of significance or power and felt like I should be the one standing beside him, I'd be like, fuck this guy. Let's assassinate him. Damn, that's actually so awkward. <laughs> like, he <laughs> imagine this motherfucker. The guy with the cul-de-sac here. Because, like, he's the one that forced it. We, 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 you know, corrected everything last episode, but... The prince just basically just said all that shit. He's probably sitting there like, shit, yeah, that was me. That, that was me. Whoops, hey, hey, water under the bridge. <laughs> Party time. <laughs> Surprise, Alicia isn't here. <laughs> he needs to grow. Man, talking to people is actually fucking draining, right? Yeah, all like, like just talking and just like meeting with people, it's actually emotion draining. Even if you're not physically running and stuff, like constantly talking like this and yapping, it is very draining. You think it's not much? It's it's it's, it's, it's like it's like mentally taxing, especially if there's new people and there's like stress, you know? Oh shit, the prince. Lord yeah. He knows that we got, you know, talent for scouting. Metaphorically and literally, yes, our eyes can actually see someone's stats, Lord, but we can't tell people that. He appraised every one of them, yeah. They're all mid? <laughs> My lord, I'm afraid your retainers are all mid. We require some new ones. Let me scout them out for you. They're mid. <laughs> we should get rid of them. <laughs> no, I don't know. I <laughs> we need better talent though. <laughs> yes, Ritz, put him in. Oh, I'm laughing too much. Smile. Toriida. Mina, majime de iyoku ni michita ii yatsura nanda ga. Nooryoku. Omae ni iwarete aratamete natte. You always knew. Mina. Doyu koto desu ka? So we should have ours's group, our group, kind of just take over and just remove all the other people here. Well, not remove. Maybe just like put them in less positions and we put ourselves in the main leadership positions and then We got more money in military but they got better talents 
だからこそ今回のお前の働きを聞いて That's why we're so valuable because he knows our side is mid even though we have the funding and the men our talent sucks ours comes in puts the right talent in place easy easy the prince Lord Kura knew immediately yeah what is ours's talent by the way well you see his talent is to be able to scout talent hmm Talentception. Ooh. I've sent talent so many times, it doesn't even make sense anymore. The word talent makes no sense to me. Are we literally the top of our district? We're like, like Kanade district. We are a small part of Kanade district. We're a, little, we're a little bumpkin lord. And now we're like, nah, up to the top. You are at the front. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, Lumiere is also going up. Who? No, 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 no. Was that a test? Too bad Charlotte's missing out on all this. A praise. Bye bye. Lord Kuran is a very good person. I didn't know what to expect from him. His demeanor, his overall personality seems befitting of a lord, seems like a good person. I have confidence of backing him. Yeah. <laughs> it's so comically evil here. Right? As soon as we shift, I'm gonna assume this is the other side, right? The other prince. Immediately we shift. Dark clouds, lightning, like some fucking, you know, we, yeah, Clayman Castle, exactly. Like Isekai, Demon Lord Castle, Castlevania shit, lightning strike, boom. <laughs> Magistone. They all just look comically evil. Okay, Magistone is the nuke ship, the explosives? Oh, I thought we had more military. But they have more officers and infantry. Okay, but we have more funding, right? Oh, that voice acting. Very cautious. Extremely cautious. Vast mark Salamakia. Okay, okay, okay. They have Magistones. Magistones is the rare resource. It's something about explosives that we talked about last episode, right? <laughs> the timing. The, ti the timing of the lightning strike here, bro. As soon as he finished the sentence, look. Oh! <gasps> evil! Sorry, I was too busy making fun of the fucking this stereotypical evil dude with the wine glass. Who are we talking about? Some girl over here? Let's go back a little bit more. Who was the princess? Mireli. Do we know who Mirel is? I this name is not registering in my head right now. Maybe I wasn't paying attention last episode. Mirel. Drunk herself? Super alcoholic? Silence! No, hmm. So. Sounds like we're gonna get Miril, huh? They're saying that she's an alcoholic drunk, and, she's, and they said that we need. Her talents, but then she's a drunk, so that it's a waste, so no noble should hire her. And now he's thinking, okay, well, I don't have to worry about them, therefore, we're gonna get her. We're gonna meet her, right? Oh, we've been baited twice now. <laughs> Bought a lot of food back for her. All we have to do is just. Well, at the end of the day, the way to seek talent is through ours appraising them. In order to do huge appraisals, we need a batch of people to come in. If that's the only way possible, then we just say, hey, recruiting session, and then fucking get them all lined up, and ours does one by one. But that, that seems kind of inefficient. Is, is there a better way? 
like Aris's ability. I wonder if he can like evolve a skill because right now it's just kind of inefficient in the sense that we have to do one one at a time. If you could just like scope an entire fucking land and it's like, oh, this red dot seems to be the most talented or something. It's like we go there, then get a more detailed analysis, but eh. Oh, our assassin group. <laughs> So instead of approaching random, we use FAM to do a preliminary scouting. A little bit like, so it calls the unnecessaries, then she will... He, he will grab all the important people, and then we do appraisal, and then we select the best, something like that. Fam will 100% find Miriel at a bar. I mean, Miriel's probably drinking at their fucking bar right now, right? We operate a bar. There, there, it is. there, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> As soon as Charles says, I hope they don't bring a fucking weirdo. Charlotte, don't say that. And then in comes a dude with the fucking mug in the daylight street. Like, you can't make this shit up. There it is. This dude right there. Oh, oh. This is the MILF. I was wrong. In the opening, this is the MILF. I've been baited twice so far. I mistake, I, I, I accidentally thought that she was fam. It was never fam that represented her. She was an actual girl in the opening. This has to be Mirel, right? Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Milf? Milf? <laughs> Reach wants to kill. How the fuck does your voice change like that? That is a crazy tone change. Holy shit. Milf. Milf. Little, little boy. She knew immediately. <laughs> Mirel just says little boy to fam and fam's still like, nope, I'm still gonna talk in a high pitch voice. Can I get a job in rent? That's rare that a MILF would have a fang, right? The fang is usually reserved for like the lollies, right? But like a MILF with the fang, interesting. Talent. <laughs> Voice change. Fam. I think Mirel thought that Fam was a little boy not because she knew, but because Fam is so flat. I think that's what that was. <laughs> she fucking everything up. She's drinking other people's drinks. Wonder what she's good at. And then when he goes away, we can finally talk in the real. Ooh. I don't go Don't pry into my past. Um, what did she do before? Oh, she was. She used to do Vasquez shit, right? Uh, second prince, second prince. Clearly, she was doing some shit with there. So now we'll get the confirmation. Does Miriel actually know immediately, or was it just a flat joke? I think she might know now. Actually, I don't know. Something about the botchan there seems serious, right? I think she knows. Your intuition? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Little brother. She's royalty. Old man is the king that passed away. Little brother is second prince. 
That's oh my god, she's fucking royalty. Oh my god. That's it, it, this is royalty, right? Am I crazy? Mm, nah. We were poor a sec, but he blew nah 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 nah. It, it seemed like the pieces fit, but nah. We were poor as like that. How the fuck would royalty be poor, right? Nah, nah, nah. So separate family, younger brother, older uh dad nah, it has nothing to do with the king. I'm not sure. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Salamika, Salamakia, Salamakia. Oh, well, that's royalty. That's royalty. That's that's the last name of the prince. No, so, 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 so the dad. This is the dad. The king Amador. They were poor. Why the fuck were they poor? What? I keep going. Governor of Mission. Governor and king of Mission. Is that the? Thing? Am I correct to assume that? Salamaki, I know, is the royalty last name, though. That's right. So it's not the king king? So not Vasquez's dad. That guy is not Vasquez's dad. She is royalty, but it's not that she was the daughter of the king. But they are somewhere in the family brand. It was the royals. The fam got lucky as fuck. It's crazy. It's crazy. Enter, you know, the Pepe meme where the Pepe just like short and tiny and just like there's like a shadow of big ass titties overlooming you. Yeah, and the strings. The drum from the strings. Of course you don't. Tall and Ritz, I think. On Ritz's level, eh? Appraise. No, we're beyond Lord of Lamberg now. Now we are the uh, fucking... Uh, what, what's our fucking district again? Anyways, we fucking own this own district now. That's the one. Mirei. Appraise. Oh, strategist S, infantry B, Smith A, Smith? Ah! Ambition 100, ingenuity 102. You think someone that's so ambitious would just go around being a drunk though? Maybe this is our depression. And that is today's episode, finally. Three, the third time's a charm. I've been crying MILF every time. Charlotte, she was 14. Fam. It's a dude. This girl, though, Mireille, finally, it happened. It happened. She's the one that I saw in the opening that I mistook for fam. But finally, Mireille has the Salamakia last name, right? But the dad is not the king. The dad was the governor. This is some like um, high ranking official within Mission. So not directly king, but clearly royal. Vasquez is hoping that no one would find her and recruit her because she's so much talented, but you know, we, we're gonna fucking get her, right? So now, we become the Lord of Kanare. We're vouched, we're, we've been vouched by many of the lords, and even, like, the first prince is like, yeah, our, P our, our lords are kind of trash, and ours is like, yeah, kind of mid, to be honest. Now, we're gonna appraise people, we're gonna put them in positions of leadership, and then we're gonna beat this fucking clay man, fucking demon lord wannabe in Castlevania, man. It's so comical how they do the lightning strikes when everybody's talking, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.